Hi everybody, welcome to the Monday edition of ProLine as we start another week. We do this just about every day. Uh, we do it on weekends, an expanded version of ProLine just like you're used to seeing on network TV over the years. And uh, on weekdays, just a couple of us get together to talk about a couple of the games, let you know what's going on. Like we're going to do today, Scott Sprench is on screen with me right now. My name is Dave Koken. Hey, Scott, we've got, uh, we've got the two teams for the big bash down in Dallas. Uh, the uh, Steelers will be there. And, uh, I, you know, they just keep continuing to grind things out. It's, it's the Steelers. Uh, the Packers caught fire at the end of the year. Really played well down the stretch. Uh, you know, the, the, the good news going in, they don't have to hype this one too much. I mean, it's, this looks like a hell of a game on paper. Yeah, the NFL has to be very excited about the two teams that landed in Dallas. I've even heard some people talking about, you know, the, the the money that's bet on the Super Bowl legally in the state of Nevada it just got to boost itself because of Green Bay taking on Pittsburgh, the two-story franchises. And I'm looking forward to it. In fact, I've already released uh, my Super Bowl. They can get it right now. If you make the call to Smash Mouth Sports on Monday, it's ready to go. We had a terrific Conference Championship Sunday. We won both games. We hit the sides with the Green Bay Packers, and we hit our AFC Championship game of the year with the Pittsburgh Steelers and jumped out to that big 24 to nothing lead and held on for the 24-19 win and cover. Uh, but this Super Bowl release that I've got already, which is, of course, uh, the big matchup coming up in a couple of Sundays, it's part of a 30-day package for a dollar per day, and we're giving away college basketball, the NBA, uh, the Super Bowl, all for just 30 bucks for the next 30 days. All you have to do is call me toll-free at 1-866-896-1627. Give me a call on Monday. You'll get the 30 days for a $30 package. And by the way, that uh, win streak with my three-game basketball package is still alive. We've hit 10 in a row. These will be part of that deal. 30 days for 30 bucks in all sports. Make the phone call to 1-866-896-1627. We'll start you out with a couple of winners in Monday Night Pro and College Basketball. one 866 1627 All right, let's take a look at a couple of games tonight. Uh, one of them, well, uh, it's the Wizards. They're on the road against the Knicks. Actually, you got a lot of losses between these two teams right now because the Wizards have not won a road game all year. The Knicks, they're on a losing streak right now. They, uh, the Magic seems to have, at least for the time being, come to a grinding halt for this basketball team. Uh, and, and it's been good, kind of good news for me because I've gone against them in a couple of spots recently and, uh, and, and picked up winners. Uh, and yet, you, you'd have to think the Knicks are going to get back in the win column tonight because they're facing a team that just cannot play at all the way from home and, in fact, can't play there either. For the most part, the Wizards, uh, boy, they just don't defend at all. And, and that's, that's really the problem for the team. You, you're not going to win defense. Uh, you're not going to win on the road if you don't play any defense. That plays into the strength of the Knicks. Well, the Knicks can get out and run. They're a pretty good basketball team. So even though New York's struggling a bit themselves, Scott, this looks like a game where they might get healthy. I think I'd, I'd go next year minus the points. Yeah, it's, it's really tough to, to recommend to play on Washington, although some are saying because there were so many Boston fans uh, in the uh, D.C. arena the other night, the Verizon Center, that it was their first road victory when they beat the Boston Celtics. There were twice as many Boston fans as there were Washington Wizards fans, uh, but they did win that game, and they finally played some defense, you know, 85-83, but like you said, you can't count on bringing the defense on the, on the road with them, and they are now 0-20 straight up and 5-15 uh, and 15 against the Spurs when they venture outside of D.C. to play a basketball game. And it's kind of funny, Dave, because you see pro franchises or college football programs and college basketball programs at any level. When they start to turn things around with a rebuilding, you see a team winning their home games, losing on the road. But this takes the cake. I mean, they're a decent 13-9 and straight up at home. But like we said, 0-20 on the road. They don't bring any defense. Here's the deal with the New York Knicks right now. Kind of figured they were going to be real streaky like this this year because they don't play a whole lot of defense either, but they've got great offensive power. Now there's talks that there's some problems in the locker room right now with some of the you know possible trade rumors flying around with the New York Knicks right now. But the bottom line is, it comes down to Amari Stoudemire. All of a sudden, he's only hitting about 35% in the last few games uh, from the floor. But I think that all comes together because they got the sweet elixir, and that's the Washington Wizards' defensive play away from home. So, again, I'm with you here. If you do anything in this game, I think you got to lay the points. There's no way I can recommend taking the points with a team that has not won a road game, and here we are towards the end of the month of January. By the way, on the Wizards, they won twice in a row, once. All season. 
the entire year, a two-game winning streak. That's their high water mark. Uh, one in ten, or one in eleven actually, after a win, and that's against the spread as well. So uh, they're pretty horrendous in this situation. Take a look at Notre Dame and Pittsburgh, one of the big Monday battles on ESPN in just a moment. Uh, it's been real good for me the last few weeks. Uh, just got on a run in basketball. Had some tough losses early in the month. I just had this stretch where, you know, uh, it got down at the end of the game, and if it was, if it was a coin flip at that point, I was going to lose the coin flip. But, you know, you got everybody goes through runs like that. That's why it's, it's impossible to uh, hit 70 75% over a full season. These guys who say they're doing that, well, uh, not in this world. Uh, but the last couple of weeks, it's been strong, and this week was outstanding, really outstanding. Had a monster week, capped off by a sweep in the football. The NFL playoffs have been sensational for me. Uh, I basically have lost one selection in the NFL playoffs. This weekend, I swept the board, won both sides, had a really big play on the total in the Bears game uh, with the Packers, a uh, uh, pretty easy winner with the under. Uh, so I'm real happy with the way things are going. Now, the special I've got, it's going to take you through the Super Bowl. You're going to get all my action plays in basketball. You're also going to get my under-the-hat plays as well. So you're getting some good stuff here. Plus, you're going to get the side in total in the big game, and the cost is only $49. Small investment, big return. You want to be on with my plays right now because I am on one of my tiers. 1-866-841-1665, the number to call. That's 1-866-841-1665. Make a call, and I'll see you in the winner's circle. Okay, let's go to Notre Dame in Pittsburgh. Big win for Notre Dame on Saturday. I had him. Didn't look real good at the half, but, uh, you know, if you bet basketball, you know 30, 20 minutes doesn't mean much. Uh, if you've got a favorite and you're up by 20, you can probably mail it in that you're not going to win the bet because they don't play the second half. Conversely, you can be down at the half with a favorite, and it doesn't mean anything. They'll come out focused in the second half and, and do the job. I mean, it doesn't always work that way, obviously, but if you're down after 20 minutes, don't give up the bet in college basketball. Notre Dame down nine against uh, Marquette on Saturday. Come storming back, win the game, get the cover. Very nice result. Pittsburgh, well, they had a lot easier time <laughs> on Saturday. Let's put it that way. Uh, so, you know, I think they're going to have the fresher legs. They're at home. We know they're the better basketball team. And at least in the early going, I mean, Notre Dame's had some success on this court in the past. But at least in the early going this year in the Big East, hasn't been good on the road for the Irish. Uh, they're having trouble slowing teams down. They're not the most physical team in the world. That's got them in trouble on the road. And, you know, guess what? I uh, This is a big number. I don't like laying 10 to Notre Dame. They're very capable of, of shooting the ball well enough to stay in there. But they're going to have to have that kind of a shooting night to stay close to the Panthers. Pittsburgh's playing as well as any team in the country right now, Scott. I think they're going to handle Notre Dame. Yeah, I, I've been talking about this Pitt team since before the season began, uh, believing that it's the best uh, Pitt team that Jamie Dixon has had since his arrival. Uh, you mentioned Notre Dame, and I had them with you, Dave, on Saturday. It was kind of, it's kind of funny because a few years ago, and I got Jim Feist involved with this, and it dealt with a lot of non-conference college basketball. You used to be able to, if you, if you play, if you got to halftime and an underdog was leading at half, if they were as big of an underdog for the second half line as they were at the start of the game, you'd play that underdog again, yep. and it was ridiculous. And I'm talking a couple of seasons there where it went like 25-5 and five against the spread. But as you mentioned this year, it seems like uh, if you've got an underdog and uh, you're down by 20, 25 points at halftime, hang on to your ticket. You're going to come back and win. But, you know, we had Notre Dame with you on Saturday. I expected an easier victory, but I'll take it nonetheless. Uh, but 16-4 and four straight up. And as you mentioned, uh, only three true runs. Road test so far. They lost all three straight up and against the spread. All three were in conference play. They lost at Syracuse, uh, Marquette, and St. John's. And in those three games, they shot 41% from the floor, while those opponents, their hosts, shot 50%. You know, Ben Hansbro, he's doing well. 16 and a half points per game. Abramidas is pretty good. Can score some points, can grab some boards. But this Pittsburgh team has now won, what, nine in a row since that loss to Tennessee. It was basically a, a neutral quarter. It was being played in Pittsburgh. And we had to 
Tennessee in that game, and we got the victory. And Tennessee really took it to Pittsburgh inside, which kind of surprised some people. But it was an off night for the Panthers. They have since come back and played great basketball, as good as anybody in the nation, as you said, Dave. And it is a double revenge spot uh, for Pittsburgh. They lost at South Bend by 15 points last year, lost on their home floor in Pittsburgh by five points. In fact, they only scored a grand total of 98 points combined in those two games, including 45 at this venue on their home floor, but they're shooting about 49% right now from the field, and they're holding their opponents to less than 40% uh, from the field, and they're out-rebounding their team, their opponents by almost 14 rebounds per game. Total domination on the glass, and I think this is what's going to hurt Notre Dame tonight. You've also got Pittsburgh on a 12-2 and spread run at home against teams with a winning straight-up record after that 15-game mark of the season. Second half of the season, this team has been absolute money under Jamie Dixon at home against winning teams. And then you got the Irish who are on an 0-4 spread slide on the road against teams with a winning home record. So you got a real nice dichotomy going here. Pittsburgh Panthers may be the best team in college basketball uh, thanks to the injury to Kylie Irving of Duke. I'm going to back the Pitt Panthers here. I know it's a lot of points to lay, but I think they're the right side. Went ahead and laid the points. Laid it at 10, still like it at 11. You know, a quick note, that 50-45 to 45 was actually at the uh, Garden. That was the Big East tournament. Oh, that's right. It was March Mad. It was the uh, March tournament. The uh, Big East tournament. That, act- yeah. that actually is something I like better because when yeah. a veteran team like Pittsburgh has conference tournament revenge, especially from a first round knockout, uh, right. th- that's something they'll remember. So it becomes somewhat meaningful revenge. I think it, it strengthens the Panthers even more. Uh, sure. we've got, there's your, your two good offers that you just heard from uh, Scott and myself today. We're both really going for, extremely well right now. Uh, it's a good time to step in. Even if you're a smaller player, these prices, you can you can get in there and have some fun and make some money. If you're a bigger player, I don't know why you wouldn't want to be on these games right now because they're going to put some serious green in your pocket. We'll be doing it again tomorrow, so make sure and check back for that. Anything else, Scott? That's about it. All right, same here. I'm Dave Koken. That's Scott Spritzer, and uh, we hope you have a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow on ProLine.